Right, welcome to another Art Fabula video. I got a lot of questions and it's always the same kind of questions. There are maybe 90% of people that ask me the same questions. I would like to try to answer those questions in a video. This one is not a question and answer video. This one is just about one big question, my options. Not mine, but your options with this. So let's begin with the video. Well, um, there are three different options. The option number one is uh, the smallest of the options that everyone has, and is to invest in a 3D printer. That one is a, well, very good option and it has very good things and also very very bad things. I will talk about the good things. The biggest things is the cost. The cost is something that if you are starting a company is something that you need to know and it's something that you need to think about it of course because as a company if you want to make a living from this thing then you need of course to think about the money. Sorry is what it is. The 3D printer is a very good thing because it's cheap and everyone can buy one nowadays. Nowadays with a 3D printer you can start with a very low budget and do incredible things. The bad things about the 3D printer, well, is the resin. Resin uh, is a very fragile material and it breaks very, very easily. So you need to be careful with that. The other problem also is the fumes of the 3D printer. You need to have some kind of well-ventilated area in your house or in a studio um, where you can put the 3D printer because the vapors, those fumes are very harmful. Um, another bad thing is, is the resin, the liquid resin that is, is you, you're going to make a mess in, in the table you're working on. But if you think that 3D printer, the resin is your thing, of course, do it. I'm using 3D printer um, to make prototypes and get the 3D model printed. And then I see size for my models and then I work and just to send it to Japan, for example. The other option is uh, to make the toys, not in your home, but abroad, for example, in China and Japan. If you want to make toys cheaply and uh, fast, then China is your place. Now, why not? China is not a bad place to make toys. There are a lot of artists out there that, that are making toys uh, much, much more than you think. I have a few toys uh, made in China. Um, I have moved that part to another countries, but I don't have uh, anything bad to say about the production in China. But it's something that you need to think about if it's worth it to you or not. And everyone asks me, where can I find companies to make uh, toys in China? Well, I don't know. I have a few contacts here and there, uh, but maybe the best way is to ask uh, Alibaba and uh, maybe other places on the internet. Uh, you write in Google, um, Art Toys China, Productions China, then you, you will find maybe 100, 1 million. China is a very good, you will get uh, things cheap and fast, a lot of faster than the third option that I'm going to talk about right now. Well, and the third and the last option is the one that I'm using right now, and is to make the toys in Japan. This option I don't recommend for the beginners because you need to have some kind of contact there in Japan to make toys. And uh, usually there are no bigger fabrics that help with this production just one or two people in a house that are making the toys. Um, they don't have time for everyone, or maybe one toy takes seven months, eight months, one year. Three things that you need to think about uh, if you want to make your toys. You, you need to think about the quality, you need to think about how fast you want the toys, and then you need to think about um, how much it's going to cost. 
In Japan, it's going to cost a lot of money and it's going to take a lot of time, but the quality is going to be great. You are, you are not going to have any problems with Japan, nothing at all. I have never experienced once a problem. In China, well, I have experienced a lot of problems before, a lot of problems, uh, but um, I don't going to say that it's just China because I have also experienced a lot of problems in Spain, in my own country, making toys. I'm not going to talk about that. That I'm going to reserve for another video because there are a lot of things that I want to talk about. So if you want to make toys, if you want to begin with this thing, please think about the budget you have. Think about the money you want to spend and how fast do you want to make the toys and uh, well, the quality of the toys you need to have good quality you always have to have a very good quality product never cheap products because that's the worst thing that can happen to to not just your company but to the, the people that buy your products they don't deserve a bad quality product so please good quality products and then think about the budget so well if you want to begin the 3d printer is a perfectly way to begin and not only the way to begin is also a perfectly way to make a living if you want to make toys if you have a place in your home to put the 3d printer please do it and, and begin there because 3d printing is incredible nowadays and um, you will get incredible products incredible quality but you will work a lot a lot and you will hate to sanding the toys. So thank you very much. That's that was a short video. I wanted to just un answer those questions about which options there are out there to make a toy. And I hope you like it. I see you the next time. Bye. Welcome to another art. Oh. The other a long um, time they have um, the um, quality. Yeah, if you want to get, um, if you don't have, if you, if, if you have the place in your home to put a three D printer, if you have. If you have, if you have uh, the place in your home to make, um, if you have the. Th